friends, welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, we are going to be talking all things Ulta, 21 Days of Beauty. I have not done a video like this on my channel, and honestly, I'm a bit surprised because I personally enjoy watching videos like these and seeing what other girls recommend, especially girls of color, just to see, like, what makeup works for them, what, like, skincare products they're into, that's, like, as of lately, my favorite. Thing. But before we jump into everything, go ahead and click that subscribe button along with that notification bell down below so you are notified every time your girl posts a new video. Okay, if you don't know what Ulta is, it's basically like a combo of Target, you know, aka Target, and Sephora. So it just has a lot to offer. They have beauty products, they have skincare, they have, um, tools, fragrances, and they have more things on the affordable end, so things you would find in a drugstore such as Target or Walgreens, and then some more luxurious products as well. So it's a good combination of everything. And twice a year, they run these 21 Days of Beauty sales. Each and every day, there is a different sale for beauty slash skincare, just honestly random products. And and you have to tune in every day to grab what you want. There are 21 days, so I'm gonna kinda go through it quickly. Um, so if I personally have used it before, I'll let you know if I recommend it or not. Or if I've heard about it, or if I have it on my wish list, then I'll let you know like, okay, this is something I most likely will purchase myself. But if I never tried the product before, or I don't know anything about it, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip because I don't wanna mislead you guys. We're gonna jump on into things now. Today is actually the first day of their sale, so better late than never. If you guys want to get something right after this video or during as I'm talking to you, go ahead and do so. And what they have on sale is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Beauty Blender MAC Prep and Prime and Tula's um, Sunscreen. So, the Brow Wiz. Haven't tried it, but I most likely will purchase it. Each and every year, I'm like, I'm going to get this product because it's kind of like a classic staple in a lot of people's makeup kits. And I do like filling in my brows sometimes, so I know it's highly rated and it's been around. It's like one of those OG products, so I would recommend that. Beauty Blender, this is one item I would get every single time Ulta would do the sale. I think it's just a good steal. Personally, I'd rather pay $10 than $20 for the Beauty Blender. Another, like, OG product, I personally have tried dupes in the past, and they just don't, they just don't do it right. This product is definitely a chef's kiss, um, especially when it comes to blending concealer underneath your eyes. It doesn't create a crease. For the sale, I think it's worth trying it. Um, Max Fix Plus have used this. Another huge, like, OG product. It's been in the game for a long time. I think this is like, you can pass on it, but at some point, I think every every girl that's into makeup or guy um, will try this product. It's really nice. You can use it many different ways. And again, for $15.50, it's not bad. Um, it's in the original scent, so I like it. I really like how it feels on your face, um, so I would recommend that too. The Tula sunscreen, I have not tried it personally, however, sunscreen is very important to have and... It's highly rated. I've heard a lot of girls, especially girls of color, they don't complain about having any white cast. So, you know, if you want to try it out, I think it would be a good thing. I probably might try it out too. Um, but yeah. So, next day, we're going to try not to make it as long. Sorry, guys. I was going in depth there. Um, so, for tomorrow, Monday, March 14th. Mm, as far as the nude sticks go, I have tried them. Quite a few. I do like it. It's very creamy and blendable. And the color payoff is really nice. Like, I do think they're pigmented and it shows up well on my skin. Personally, I don't know if I would repurchase them um, for the original price, but for this discounted price, and if you are going to be going on vacation a lot, I think it would be a nice product because they're very compact and you can like use them on your eyelids and your cheeks and kind of all over. So, that one. I wouldn't mind recommending. Um, as far as the primers go, I have not tried that, so I don't know. Peach and Lily, really good company. I've tried their products before. I like it. Haven't tried the matcha um, pudding, but I would like to. And the um, tr spot treatment sounds intriguing. So that one, 
try with caution. Look at the reviews, um, but it does seem highly rated. And the neck firming thing, yeah, don't know about that. <laughs> Next. So Tuesday, we have High Impact Mascara from Clinique, Beauty Bakery, Lip Whip, um, Supplements, we have our Snail Essence, Lash Food. All right, Clinique, nah, not really, I would pass. Beauty Bakery, now I have seen the girls wearing this product and it looks highly pigmented. So for nine to 10 bucks, I think it's, you know, worth getting. Um, they look really pigmented. Um, the supplements, don't know. The essence, y'all, this is popping. And if you, if you're an OG to my channel, let me know in the comments because I've been raving about Korean skincare for a while and I've used the essence, as you guys know, super moisturizing. And for 12 to 13 bucks, I might have to stock up on this. Highly recommend the, um, the essence. As far as the eyelash enhancer goes, I don't know. I haven't used products like that before. So, <laughs> okay, next day. I haven't tried or even heard of any of these products except for the um, the live tinted. Um, the CEO seems incredible. The line seems really nice. And I have heard really good um, things about their corrector. So now would be a good time to test it out. Um, so if I were to get anything on that day, it would be from live tinted. All right, so for the 17th, it is kind of calling my name. Um, it has a lot of skincare. So the deep cleansing oil, yes, I would get that. The Kiehl's Ultra Brightening Essentials. I really like Kiehl's brand. Their products are often like very thick and creamy. As far as results go, I can't say I've seen so much, but then again, I haven't used their products like repetitively. But the moisturizers and products I have used, I enjoyed. So I would probably test this out. Peter Thomas Roth. I'm learning a lot more about skincare and I see that this brand seems to be like a hit or miss. It depends on the products, but there are a lot of hits. So this one kind of catches my eye and since it is on sale, I probably would try this out because I do really like um, highly concentrated pads like this when it comes to skincare. It just gives me like that spa like feel. I would try that out. Stila, oh, this is such an OG brand as well, but I wouldn't try this. If you are of like fair complexions and you get redness and puffiness, then I would say go ahead. I have seen a lot of um, girls with like redness use this and it works for them really well. So um, depending on what your skin concerns are, the KVD Beauty Eyeliner have heard really great things about it. I've tried it out like once and it really like it stayed on for a really long time so you could try that too for 11 bucks and then tarte lip balm i like tarte lip balms i used to be like obsessed with one of their like little lip stains so i think that would be nice all right next thing so for the 18th i would recommend a cosmetics anti-aging moisturizer I used to be obsessed with this at one point but it was just getting too pricey for me like 50 dollars. and granted i was like in high school I think high school or like first year of college so you know what I mean it wasn't fitting in the budget too much but obsessed with it is so creamy I'm probably gonna have to get this I love this stuff Dermalogica haven't used this but Dermalogica is that girl when it comes to skincare she's that girl so I think this would be good and it seems to be highly rated um skincare tools y'all I have been a sucker for skincare tools I will say you have to use them consistently um, and I really think like if you're like under 25 you maybe don't need to do this you might not be like as committed but if if you're into it I would say go for it especially when they're on sale personally I have like half of the stuff already but um I think they're fun but is it necessary probably not <laughs> all right next one multiple brands so keys um keys products I've heard really awesome things about so I think this is a cool time to try them out. This is their cleansing balm. I love cleansing balms. Lip scrub. Love lip scrubs. But you can also make them on your own. So if you want to be really fancy, go ahead. And Uma, I hope I'm saying it right. But I really love um, the founder. Like, she's awesome. So 
I would probably just support just to, you know, just because. Um, and yeah, that's the only thing I know for that day. Alright, so the 19th, the only thing I can say based on reviews is like Clinique, their moisturizer is really good. I've used it in the past and I just kind of like, I prefer super thick moisturizer, so it's just a preference, but... I do know that's like highly liked for a lot of different skin types. I have not used the Lancome perfume, but I've heard really good things about it. And yeah, that's about it for this day. The 20th, we're going to go ahead and just skip. <laughs> so for the 21st, I have used products from Urban Skin RX. If you have not seen my previous skincare video, go ahead and check it out. Um, I haven't used this specific serum, but I do have some faith in them when it comes to their serums so it's probably worth trying out vitamin c is always something good to have to brighten the skin 22nd we're gonna go ahead and skip because i don't know i do know that tula is a really cool brand and i would love to try more of their products so if i were to try it it would be on that day but yeah so for the 23rd there's a lot going on um and this is one of those moments where i would just try something because it's on sale and it's new and I just want to give it a try. And those products that I would get would be the Teamy Detox uh, Mask. I've been wanting to try this for the longest. And the Patchology Eye Gels. That brand in general is just really nice. And their foot peels have been highly raved. Um, so I would try all of their products that day. The Velvet Skin Drink looks very intriguing. Um, and then the Kapari Deodorant. I've been trying a lot of Kopari um, products in the um, past few weeks, and I really like them. As far as deodorants go, though, for some reason, these natural deodorants, it just really depends on your skin type and the detoxing process, especially if you've been using um, products that have alum aluminum. You do have to detox. You have it, It's a process, all right? It's not going to be pretty, but it is a process, so I would do a patch test. I've heard, like, all kinds of reviews. This one, I'm not really sure. Use with your own caution, babes. <laughs> Next. Alright, so for the 24th, the only thing I have personally tried and loved was the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. And for this cute little set, I think if you want to try it out, I would recommend it because individually, these products are super pricey. But you do see results. I will tell you that. My skin was looking so hydrated and plump. Alright, so for the 25th, we're just going to go ahead and skip. I don't really know. If I were to pick anything, it maybe would be the PMD because this has been around for a while. I am very much into skincare tools and microdurbration products are really cool to have for that nice exfoliation. And for half off the price, if you're going to get it, now is the time. You know what I mean? This is a good time if you want something to go ahead and get it. But it's also a day where it's like, eh, it's not really doing much for me. You know what I mean? Like... I'm not going to go ahead and splurge on that just yet. The 26th, same thing. We're going to skip. 27th, we're going to have to go ahead and skip as well. 28th, okay, so this Peter Thomas Roth SPF 45 Water Drench looks really, really good. I haven't tried it, but I've heard great things, and I would like to try it. Um, Next, 29th. Um, okay, the Urban Decay Tinted Hydrator Foundation, I would personally have to go and see what my shade is, so in the store, but I do love a good tinted foundation, especially for the summer months and things like that, so if I were to try anything, it would be that. Next, so for the 30th, um, we're gonna have to skip. <laughs> Sorry, we're, nah. Alright, let's see what's next. Alright, so next, the MAC Radiance Face and Body Radiant Share Foundation. Say that three times. <laughs> Alright, so this is just like a staple, y'all. I know I've been saying that a lot, but I know like every makeup artist usually has this in their kit. It's very share and buildable. Another product that would be really, really good for the summer. I most likely will, you know, try these out. This is a first time seal. Okay, looking good. And what else do we have? Yeah, I think that's it. That's it for that day. April 1st. I do like Benefits Gimme Brow, but 
I don't know. Is it how much are they selling it for? It's like one of those products where if you want to be bougie, <laughs> I don't I, okay, I don't know what the price is. I can't see it at the moment, but I've tried it. I do like it. However, there's so many other dupes that I don't think I would go out of my way to get it. Um what else? April 2nd, which is the last day, we have mascara from Tarte. We have Lancome Skincare, Bobbi Brown Moisturizer. You guys, if you don't get anything, get this. There was a point in my acne journey where my skin was the driest it's ever been. I can't even tell you how uncomfortable it was. It was the most horrible experience ever. I was going to dermatologists. I was using really, really high-grade um, products that was drying out my skin. When I tell you nothing was hydrating my skin, nothing was adding moisture to my skin, it was so sad. I thought I was never going to feel moisturized skin ever again. And this was like the only product that drenched moisture to my skin so if you have extremely dry skin if you just love thick creamy luxurious products try out this bobby brown moisturizer when i tell you it will probably save your skin i loved this it's vitamin enriched it's really good and for 32 bucks it's a steal because let me tell you the 64 dollars price tag was it, it wasn't fun but i had to at that point because my skin was so dry and then I discovered aloe vera. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I love this moisturizer. Really nice to have. Um, I will forever have good memories about it. As far as the, um, the self-tan, yeah, don't know anything about that. And the beauty fridge. I have a beauty fridge. Do I use it every day? No. But do I use it when I want to fully pamper myself and be that girl? Yes. Yes, I do. It does have a really nice effect when you put certain masks and tools, such as like your jade tools, in the fridge because it's really cooling um, and it feels just really incredible on your skin. So it's kind of one of those things like for 30 bucks, it's not bad to have. And this is a really cute fridge, has rose gold details. This was actually like number two on my list. So I would I would get it. It's really fun. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. You know my thoughts, my recommendations. I will go ahead and link them down below as well for you. So anything that's on my wish list, things I'm planning to get, all that jazz will be down below. Let me know what products you guys want to try out for yourself, what products you recommend. I would love to know that as well. I will say there are a lot of OG products in this lineup. So if you are like me, a millennial, um, you might have some good memories with some of these products. I would have loved to see more like clean beauty and more brands that are up and coming and new, but who knows what the next one will bring. Make sure you are subscribed and that notification bell is clicked so you're notified every time we go post a new video. And I will see you guys very shortly in my next one. Bye.